Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has years of experience of bringing characters to life on the big and small screen. You've seen him in Fences, Lincoln Heights, and The Hate You Give. Right now, he's tearing up the small screen with his new NBC show, new show on NBC, Lincoln Rhyme Hunt for the Bone Collector. Mm. Take a look. Since when is he playing basketball? Since a few months ago when he made the AAU team. Competitive basketball and no one thought to mention this? Maybe he was protecting your feelings, knowing you can't shoot hoops with his dad. Naya, please listen carefully. I need you to pick him up. I'm sending someone to watch your place. So he's back. He's in New York. He won't be anywhere near you, at least not today, but I'm not taking any chances. Please, get Camden. I will. Wow. Ooh, that's that's who is he? Right. He's talking about the man that Bone Collector Man is back. Because yes. you know, I love Bone Collector. Oh, please please welcome Russell Horsby <laughs> to the show. <laughs> uh, I was in the movie. Cool. I thought he died in the first movie. Right. Oh, my so, God. When you look back over your resume, because it's it's so long, uh, mm -hmm. how surreal does it for you? How surreal is it for you to look back over all of your accomplishments? You know, I'm, I'm humbled by it. I mean, you know, you start out in your 20s and you just want to work. You just want to get a job. Yeah. And, you know, you have, you know, you have dreams, you have hopes of where you could possibly end up. And honestly, I've um, exceeded my expectations, quite honestly, yes. you know. And so I'm, you know, everything has just been a, a blessing, you know, from here, you know, forward. Uh, and also being able to incorporate, you know, a wife and children. Yes. So to be able to put life first mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. has really, you know, brought everything full circle, you know, mm -hmm. for me. I mean, I, I have a career. Uh, I'm able to do a lot of good quality work, mm -hmm. but I'm also able to share that that work mm -hmm. and that time with my family and my wife yes. and, and my kids. So that's really important. I'm just, I'm getting everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You're a heavy hitter, and you've worked with lots of other heavy hitters, such as Denzel Washington, mm -hmm. Christina King. But tell us, what was your favorite role, and who was your favorite co-star? Uh -huh. well, <laughs> Well, my favorite role was the most recent, uh, probably The Hate You Give. Mm -hmm. um, that was good. Played the character of uh, Maverick, really Maverick Carter. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because for, for me, the character felt like a throwback. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, you know, they talk about there was a time when boats were made of wood and men were made of steel. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, Maverick represented that, but he was a brother, with, you know, who was malleable still, you mm -hmm. know. So he could, he could learn and he could grow and he could sort of change uh, himself a little bit. And but also he had that that uh, that physicality and that that presence that said mm -hmm. I am here mm -hmm. and he was loving his wife and loving his children and a part of the community mm -hmm. and I feel like that was an image that really represents who we are yep. what we can be and what we can do as men but also as a family yes. Yes. you know when we work together yes. and yeah. that was one of my, my favorite roles and also because I was working with young people mm -hmm. and so in that quite honestly uh, my favorite co-star just you know up to this point had been Amanda Stenberg mm -hmm. you know because again being a young talented young woman who was still willing to listen yes. and absorb some of the knowledge and the wisdom and the mentorship. Yeah. And she's going to be off and rising, and I'm yes. looking forward to it. Oh my gosh. Well, speaking of off and rising, like your career, yes. um, <laughs> let's take it back a little bit and talk about, you know, we talk about humble beginnings. How did you get your start? Was it like in theater? Because you're, you're so elevated as an actor. You're so versatile. You can go from fences yes. to the hate you get, yes. you know what I'm saying? So how did you start in this industry? I started in theater in, in yeah. high school. You know, I'm from Oakland, California originally, and I was doing the you know, high school play, the high school musical, and mm -hmm. everything like that. Then decided to uh, study at Boston University mm -hmm. and just did theater training there and learned mm -hmm. a lot about Shakespeare and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But for me, a lot of, you know, the work stemmed out of, you know, growing up listening to hip hop, you know, yes. and, and listening to rap music because wow. again, you're talking about the the verbal dexterity, you yeah, know, yeah. with with rappers and and how they have to articulate themselves sure. and and really you know staying on bait and on rhythm yes. and syncopation and everything like that. Mm -hmm. That helped with the Shakespeare, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. Before, before I started school. Absolutely. Wow. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. You're staying with, with us for the full hour. Russell is too. He's going to continue to enunciate like Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you follow him on Instagram at Russell Hornsby. And remember, the conversation continues at Sister Circle TV on oh, no, also. Social media platforms. Yay. Russell Horns. Yes. 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 I love your dick. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're joined by our new friend, actor Russell Hornsby. Now, Russell, the squad has a question for you. The full thing for you. This man is so talented. So talented. You don't yes. understand how entertained we just were. But let's talk about, we talked about your start. Let's talk about your now. You know, you are um, working on Lincoln Rhythm, Rhyme. 
rhyme, mm -hmm. uh, the hunt for the bone collector. Yes. What is it like to play that character? You know, it's a, it's actually a blessing. You know, we're talking about Lincoln Ryan Hunt for the Bone Collector, which is based on the novels by Jeffrey Deaver, The Bone Collector. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about a film that originated by Denzel Washington mm -hmm. and starred Angelina Jolie. Yeah. And so yeah. here I am. I have, you know, the blessing to step into the same shoes that this man walked around in. Yeah. And, and you know, it's on my, I embrace. Yeah. You know, I'm ready for it. I'm excited by it. You know, the, the challenge basically is the stillness. Yeah. Yes. You know, because we're talking about a character who is a, uh, a Q5 quadriplegic mm -hmm. and he can only move from uh, his neck down and mm -hmm. only his three fingers on his right hand. Mm -hmm. So again, it is all about uh, the words and yeah. you know the tone and you know mm -hmm. emphasis and facial, yeah. and facial yeah. expressions yeah. and everything that. like that. What was your preparation like for that, or is there such a thing for you because no, you're so? Yeah. There is a preparation. Yeah. I think it's life's preparation. Quite mm -hmm. honestly, mm -hmm. I was telling people I couldn't have done this role five to seven or ten years ago because I, you know I just I wasn't. I'm a lot more patient now. Yeah. You know, with mm -hmm. kids and whatnot, you kind of yeah. you kind of settle down a little bit, and so I can embrace the stillness and I can embrace just the grace that the character has to have and. and body that I couldn't have done five or ten years ago. Wow. How challenging was it um, to portray Denzel's wa Denzel Washington's uh, character? You know, it's a, it, it's a it's a challenge, but one, as I said, I was ready for, you know, in theater school, we focus on, you know, Shakespeare, mm -hmm. right? And, and so you're talking about, again, tone, word choice, and everything like that. And yeah, I know Denzel also comes from the theater yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So we have all those things in common. And all I did was uh, do a, a, a Lincoln rhyme for the new millennium you know, mm -hmm. for 2020. Mm -hmm. And he's got, you know, different sensibilities. Denzel has some rhythms, you know, mm -hmm. that were beautiful, you know, and specific to him. I'm bringing my own that are beautiful, I think, and specific, specific to you. me. Oh, yeah. we already know. <laughs> I'm telling you, this man is opportunity. You have no idea. Yeah. We're so impressed. Thank yes, you. We are. Thank yeah. you. So the people say we're about to play a game, y'all. Yes, absolutely. Like we're going to get into this game. It's going to be lots of fun. So what we're going to do <laughs> yes. is just go ahead and give you some lines to some movies. And okay. you have to select and get it right. Oh. Well, so we can tell your wife, because we know your wife don't play the radio. No, right. <laughs> and you have to get it right. So I'm going to go ahead That's and fun. start first. All right, here we go. Okay. The man wants to be called Muhammad Ali. I say Muhammad Ali. If his mama name him Clay. I'm going to call him Clay. Oh, yeah, that's Catch Jamie Foxx Fox. oh, from Fox. Ali, from playing Boondini Brown. No, it's no. not. It's not. <laughs> wait, okay, let, let, wait it's a minute. Just relax. Really? Is it A, coming to America, B, oh. that are in Brooklyn, or C, I'm going to get your sucker? Oh, that's A. Yes. Yes. Well, thank America. you. Well, I jumped on it because I heard oh, the thing, and I, heard uh -oh. the, I was thinking Jamie Foxx and Ali. In the barbershop. Well, you know, that's my fault. Because I, 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 I should have let y'all finish. Mm. That's me, you know, jumping in too soon. But okay. I don't know, Key felt it felt like Jamie Foxx. It did. The, the way, way you was using it, it, you was giving it that Jamie rhythm. No. You was giving it some of that Jamie rhythm. No, but also, I don't want to know because you didn't say, hey, mama called him Clay, I'm going to call him Clay. You, yeah. you had the Jamie rhythm. I can't give it to you like that. Or else I'm going to take your no black card, Russell. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, I still got some rhythm section in me. All right, you got some more opportunities. Okay, okay. Now, these are two different characters. I'm going to try my best. All right, come on. I'll play you for what? Your heart. Now, Ooh, I know that. is that best man, brown sugar, or loving basketball? That's easy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you easy. I'm calling your wife oh, that's today. Calling right Come now. on, I'm calling her. Okay, okay. That's loving basketball. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. That's a good one. Oh, no, no. The tension thickens, your heartbeat quickens. <laughs> <laughs> Beating out your chest. <laughs> All right, Lena. Okay, you now this yeah. one is kind of hard. Let me see. Okay, it says. Yeah, okay. see, I don't know what you're I didn't know it was going to be multiple. What's the That's point of me. having a voice if you're going to be silent in the moments you shouldn't be? Mm. Mm. Well, give me my. Uh, At a, Forrest Gump. B, the hate you give. C, the wood. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or D, Love Jones, because that's on my card. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. Man, I might be giving some up. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Man, this one you hard were for in me this too. movie. What the hell you give? I was oh just my, waiting. I can't with you. Oh, 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 come on, man. Right. <laughs> no, he, does he get that point? I don't know if he gets that point. I get the point. Okay, whatever. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, that point because he was in the movie. Yes. Our final one. Okay. Here we go. A man is supposed to take care of his family. You live in my house. Fill your belly with my food. <laughs> put you, put you behind on my bed because you're my son. It's my duty to take care of you. I have oh, a responsibility. Yes. This is easy. I ain't got to like you. Come on, you got to get this. B. 
Yes. Fences. Yes. 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 Hey, there you go. A nickel costs a dime up yeah. in this category. <laughs> We're good. We're good. That's it. That's it. Baby. Okay. So, yes. Russell, now I, we saw the little, little tease. Now, Kwa said, well, who is the man that you're talking about? Now, I feel like it was the actual assailant. Mm -hmm. Okay. The man died in the original movie. So, yes. can you tell us how he kind of was brought back, or is that well, telling you know, all no, the station? Well, well, no. The thing is, we're we're starting from scratch. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, so okay. again, you know, you had uh, you had two hours to tell that story back mm -hmm, in ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Now we have ten hours to tell oh, this so story. So he has to yeah. stay alive. He so stay alive, and we gonna hunt him down and see if we can get this brother. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, we, we, we gonna get him. We, but you know what? <laughs> this has been absolutely I'm really enjoyable. Oh my God! You have so entertained us on and off the camera. Oh. We are just thoroughly yes. in love with your yes, work, and now in love with you. You cannot stay away for long. Yes. I was. Let's give it up for yeah. Russell Hornsby. Yeah. Yeah. So. Be sure to check him out on Lincoln Rhyme. Hunt for the Bone Collector Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern on NBC. Coming